MLB The Show's coverage of Major League Baseball is on the air. A good one on tap for you this afternoon between the Minnesota Twins and the New York Yankees. Now at the plate, Luisa Reyes, and we are ready for some daytime baseball. Into the corner and slicing foul. And that's low, so a good eye there as he works the count back full. Fastball, strike three called, and he's caught looking to begin the afternoon. Striding in, Jorge Polanco. Previous history with Luis Severino, he's one for five. Just off the inside part of the plate, it's three and one. That's in there, and it'll run the count to full three and two. Forecast high calls for 80 degrees, but we're at 76 here at opening pitch. This is hit high in the air out toward left center. Stanton is underneath this one, and he's got it for out number two. Here's Nelson Cruz now. First chance for him here in the top of the first with nobody on. The one two is swung on and missed. He got him. That'll bring in Giovanni Urshela. He'll lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. Now the one and one pitch. Is strike two swinging. One ball, two strikes. Swung on and missed. Really fooled him that time for the first out. Here's Miguel Andujar now. Comes off an 0 for 4 in last night's ball game. Oh, they have him looking awfully confused up there right now. It's one and two. So far this season, Andujar possesses a slugging percentage above the 450 mark, so he's capable of running into one here. Throw just does beat him to the bag, as that was pretty close. Here's the second baseman, D.J. LeMayhew. A couple of hits for him in four trips to the plate last night. The 1-1. One, one. Two out, nobody on. Three and one. I don't blame him for not coming over the heart of the plate. He circled this guy on the lineup card when he got to the yard today. He's been swinging one of the hotter bats in the game. Count full, three balls and two strikes. Oh, and he lets him off the hook there as this isn't even close for ball four. Now to the plate, Aaron Judge. He takes his first cuts in this one with a man at first and two away. He's set and the 2 1 pitch. Hit hard on the ground towards second. Fielded cleanly. And as it turns out, the two out walk doesn't come around to haunt him as that ends the inning. So the big bat of Miguel Sano digs in next. He's three for seven in the series coming in. Into the windup. Here comes the 2 2 pitch. Hit the other way out toward right field. Judge is there and he'll bring this one in. So the bases are empty with one man gone. And that brings up the former American League MVP, Josh Donaldson. 1 1. A shin high slider laid off for a ball. And a slider's in the dirt as he lays off it for a ball. Mitch Garver is on deck. 
And it's fouled away. Still looking for our first hit in the ball game. This one's blooped out toward right center field. In comes Judge. Oh, and this kicks right off of him. The catcher, number eight, Mitch Garver. Stepping in now, Mitch Garver. And he takes one off the inside corner for ball two. Line drive, and that's a base hit into center field. Now a long throw to third. The tag, and they got him at third. What a throw. Into the box, Eddie Rosario. And he looks at one in there, one and two. Misses, ball two. Hard hit ball to second. Oh, and it eats him up a bit. Throw on to Voigt, takes care of him, and the inning is over. And that'll bring up Glaber Torres. He had a couple of hits in that ball game last night. And he takes strike three called on the fastball, one gone. Stepping into the box, Giancarlo Stanton. Now a good pitch around the knees, but it doesn't quite catch the bottom of the zone. Loud contact there, but it's well fouled. Here now the 2-2. And another foul ball. And this will miss down low in the dirt, so he's worked it full now at three and two. To be honest with you, I'm a little bit more afraid of the guy on deck than the guy that's up right now. If I'm on the mound, I want this guy up right now. He's the guy that's got to beat me. Rosario is there, and he makes the catch for the out. Stepping up to the plate, Luke Voigt, looking for better results than last night when he went 0 for 4 in that one. From the windup, the 1-1 one, one pitch. A ball and two strikes now. Looking at his lifetime numbers, Voigt begins play with a slugging percentage north of 525. Certainly a line he can take pride in. Bottom of the second here with no score. Ground ball left side. Defense set up perfectly. And that'll just sneak past his outstretched arm, a base hit. To the plate now, Gary Sanchez. And a slider just about gets away from him there as it runs in a bit too close for comfort. Fouled away. Hoping to send him packing. Pitch on its way. High in the air down the right field line. But this will wind up being a foul ball. Here's another 2-2. Voigt, a runner at first with two gone. On the ground to third. Throw to second for the force out, and the side is retired. Max Kepler the next to grab a bat. It's been a big series for him so far with six driven in on three hits. Swing and a miss as he ran the fastball right by him for the first down. So that'll bring in Byron Buxton. Nine at bats for him in the series so far and he's collected a pair of hits. He'll try to bunt his way on as he gets this one down. 
throw to first is in time, so a good idea, but the bunt attempt doesn't pan out. The batter number two. Riding in once again, Luis Arias. He got called out on strikes his last time through. Yeah, in today's game, certainly don't get completely reprimanded for too many strikeouts, but no one likes to go down looking. And we'll have to leave it there as the play is made here to end the inning. So here's the veteran Brett Gardner as we move on to the bottom of inning number three. Three and two to the Yankee center fielder. And this is swung on and missed as Gardner is a strikeout victim one away. Digging in for his second at bat, Gio Urshela. He was a strikeout victim in his first try. Sometimes you just got to tip your cap to the guy on the mound. He's getting paid to try and get you out as well. Anytime it gets up there, north of seven, eight pitch ABs, sometimes it just comes down to pure execution. Now Let's see if he makes the adjustment right here. So bases are empty here with two gone. And striding into the plate, it'll be Miguel Andujar. Hits this one hard the other way. A diving effort here as he gets a glove on it. And the recovery will not be in time at first, and the inning will continue following the infield back, single. Second baseman, DJ. So now to the plate, DJ LeMayhew lofted in the air out toward right center. Cruz is there, and he'll put it away to retire the side. So digging in now, Jorge Polanco. He flew out in his last at bat. This game is rolling right along as we move into the middle innings with no score. You'd think by now one of these two teams would be able to get some base runners on and get him in, but that hasn't been the case. Lifted in the air to center field. Gardner is there, and that's the first out of the inning. And that'll bring up the now big that. stick of Nelson Cruz. Comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. Grounder down the line at third. But a foul ball, 1 and 2 now. The pitch. Turned on that one and crushed it. Just pulled it a little foul. Not where he wanted that fastball to be, and it's three and two now. Miguel Sano is on deck. And a fastball misses there, ball four. Here's Miguel Sano. Flied out in his first at bat, so make him 0 for 1 so far. Almost, Matty. Almost went deep his last AB. Certainly just missed it. With this guy's big power, he's feeling pretty good at the dish. Look for him to try and get on something and drive it out of the yard this AB. He's set and the 1 2 pitch. <laughs> He stays alive, still two and two. Both teams with just two hits apiece thus far. Swing and a miss on the changeup, and there are two gone. So two gone now for the Twins in their half of the fourth. And here's Donaldson. little behind on that swing and now he'll try to shorten up maybe and protect the plate and the inning goes away in unceremonious fashion on a swing and a miss at a ball way outside the strike zone here's big Aaron Judge hit in the air down the right field line but this is going to wind up a foul ball here's the one and two delivery 
And he'll try to get him fishing there, but he won't offer in the dirt, and it's back to even at two and two. And he's getting his money's worth up there now. It's full three and two. Well, that sets up a big pitch right here, Matt, because you don't want to lose the leadoff guy in a scoreless game. It's tough to work around the leadoff walk. Yeah, so he ran Let's the fastball the by him for the punch out. Aaron Judge is retired leading off the bottom of the fourth. And it's one and two. Two strikes. Stan alive putting together a really good at bat here. One and two, here it comes. And a swing and a miss there on a late breaking slider as he set down on strikes for the second time now this back. afternoon. And digging into the batter's box next will be Giancarlo Stanton. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. And now a curveball that's low and in the dirt for a ball. It's two and one. Now a curveball here, nowhere close. That's in the dirt. It's three and one. Team's been struggling on offense. Let your D work for you right here. Pound the zone. Outside part of the plate, the changeup is in there. Fouled off. Pitching has the upper hand early as we're scoreless in inning number four. And he fouls this one off. Had to sit back on the changeup, and he did a good job to get the bat on that one. Payoff pitch one more time. Hard liner to center field. Buxton is going to have room out there as he puts this away to retire the side. Set for the start of the inning. Digging in now, Mitch Garver. One for one after a single his first time up. Now the 2 1. He is swung on and missed, and that's strike two. Good swing on a tough pitch, and he'll stick around to see another one. So a full count now. Eddie Rosario will be next. Hit down the third baseline. And the fifth inning will start with a ground out, one away. In now, Eddie Rosario. He's 0 for 1 after grounding out in his only trip to the plate so far. The 1 1. No runs, two hits, and no errors in the ballgame for Minnesota. He pops him up. Toward the left side of the infield. Severino will take charge himself out there, and there's two down. Coming to the plate now, Max Kepler. He looked to bounce Kepler. back after striking out his last time up. Yeah, and kind of shocked he got blown away with a fastball. You could tell he was late on that one. And we'll see if he tries to cheat to something this AB. And it's two balls and two strikes now. Wow, not sure what they're looking for right there, but. That one was pretty much middle, middle, center cut. Tough pitch to take. Full count to Max Kepler. Three balls and two strikes. Looked to me like he tried to do way too much on that 2-2 pitch. You don't have to come into the zone on that count, but a pitch that far up. Well, the play's been made, and that retires the side. Digging in now for the Yankees, Luke Boyd. He reached on a single in his first try. The 1 1 home. Well, the count is two and one. A swing and a shot hit down the corner. Nearly a big fly to start the inning instead of foul ball. Swing and a miss on the slider, and that's out number one. So one away here with the bases empty. And the next to bat, the Dominican-born catcher, Gary Sanchez. And it's fouled away. 
No runs, two hits, and no errors for the Yankees so far. Won't commit on the slider. Good patience, and it's full three and two. There's a swing and a high drive into left center field. A ball that's carrying. On the warning track, he makes the catch. Here's Brett now Gardner now. Center fielder. Brett. Bases Gardner. are empty here with two men out. Is swung on and driven out to right center field. A ball that's well hit. And he will get there as he had to cover a lot of ground to make that play. And that ends the inning. Here's Byron Buxton now. He's set to lead it off in the Minnesota end of the sixth. 1-1. And here's a ball in the air now carrying a bit out toward right center. Judge moves to his right and puts this one away in the alley for out number one. Now back to the top of the lineup. Stepping in, Luis Arias. He's 0 for 2 in the ballgame so far. Trying to send him packing for the second time. And this is swung out and missed, so it's two up, two down to start the sixth inning. The batter, now at the play, Jorge Polanco, 0 for 2 here to start the afternoon. This is pulled into right. And he'll pull this one down a step or two in front of the warning track, and the inning is over. Standing in, Gio Urshela. He'll lead things off against Kenta Maeda. The 1 1. Line drive to left. And a dive, but it rattles in and out of the glove. And now, Miguel Andujar. All even now, 2 and 2. From the belt, the pitch, and a good bite to that slider as he swings through it for the first out of the inning. Homer Bailey will come on in relief here and appear in game number 25 on the year so far. DJ LeMayhew will be the first to greet him here as he'll stand in with a runner at first and one away. 1-1. One, one. Misses, ball two. He swings and misses. Throw down. And it's not in time as he's in well ahead of the throw. Runner at second here with one man out. Breaking ball. That's in the dirt as he takes a ball. This is skied into the air to straightaway center. Buxton is there now and he has it two gone and no tag at second he'll head back there with two away now and that'll bring up Aaron Judge he's 0 for 2 with a strikeout in this one good battle count remains full Fouled away. Keeps fighting him off. The eighth pitch of the at bat coming up. On the eighth pitch of the at bat is the one that finally does it as he wears him down and the inning is over. So striding forward now, Nelson Cruz. Not sure if this is a powerhouse pitching performance by both teams or bad hitting but as we're moving late into this one it's about time somebody puts something together to try to score a run and the throw to first is in time so the leadoff man is gone here to start inning number seven now that so here's the cleanup hitter Miguel Sano he flew out his first time around and then was a strikeout victim most recently uh, had him off stride that time and it's one and two 
I know we want to focus on the offense and how bad they've been so far, but can we give some love to the pitcher? He has had these guys in the rocking chair all day. The one two. That's a good take on a fastball out of the zone. Hey, I get it. He's looking for a ball to drive, but that ball was a little bit too far up in the zone. That's one you normally pop right up. And a bit of a high throw that time, but no problem over there at first as they record the out. The third baseman the stepping in, Josh Donaldson. Josh. A hit and two tries for him so far. And he connects with it. This one's hit deep out to left center field. Gardner retreats to the track and he'll put this one away. So a sigh of relief as the side is retired. In now is the Yankees DH Torres. He's hoping to avoid the hat trick. He struck out in each of his first two plate appearances so far starting to run out of time they haven't been able to score any runs as we're moving late into this one a perfect time for this leadoff guy to try to get on base and ignite a rally that misses and we're even at two and two this is lined to left that gets down and he's got himself a base hit with that the Yankees have put their leadoff hitter aboard to start out the inning Standing in now, Giancarlo Stanton. On that fastball is too much for him there, one and two. I think it's about time to choke up on that bat and get that foot down. He's awfully tardy right now. Hit hard on the ground towards second. And Stanton's aboard. It's a base hit. And he can't come up with it cleanly here in right. Throw will hold him at second, but the go-ahead runs in scoring position now with still nobody out. Stepping in now, Luke Voigt. He's fallen behind now, three and one. Well, the Yankees have been searching for that big hit pretty much all game. It remains to see if they can get it, but now it sure would be a good time. And it's full now, three and two. Hey, it's tough when your team is being held scoreless on the scoreboard. He was trying to put him on the board with a swing like that one. Too close for comfort, and he did a good job just to make contact. And this is sliced foul into the stands in right out of play. Still three balls and two strikes. The eighth pitch of the at bat. And that misses for ball four. So the potential go ahead run moves over to third now. The 1 1 home. Takes a pass and misses. That's strike two. Just hung in there on that one. Needs a punch out here. Can he get it? That was a nasty sweeping slider right there. If he was able to just catch the back door a little bit, he would have picked up that backwards K. And this ball's pretty well struck. High and deep to left field. The catch is made. Here comes the go-ahead run for the plate. He's safe at the plate. And they've taken the lead here in the seventh. Settling in now, Brett Gardner. It was a fly out for him in his last trip. Unable to get the bat around in time, and the count evens at two and two. Line to the right side. A leaping try, but it's out of his reach and into the outfield. Tyler Duffy will come on in relief here and appear in game number 25 on the year so far. Number 21, Tyler Duffy. At the plate, Gio Urshela. Not what he wanted to do there with the slider as it misses well above the zone. Going to need to make a little bit of an adjustment with a slider release and at least tempt the hitter that it's going to be a strike. Here comes the right fielder. He can't get to it. This one's down. 
Now batting, the third baseman, Miguel. Into the box, Miguel Andujar. And a knuckle curve missed that time, two and one. It often becomes harder to hit the zone when the pressure starts to heat up. Fastball, and mm, looks like they're pinching him a bit here. It's three and one. Swing, strike two. He was able to sneak that fastball by him on three and one, so, so now we've got a battle on our hands. High in the air out to center field. Catch made in center. Here comes the runner from third. And a relay to the plate. And he'll make it into score. It's a sack fly and an RBI, and it's now a 3 nothing now ball game. Second base and that sends D.J. LeMayhew into the box. It's been an 0 for 2 effort for him to this point. One and two to D.J. LeMayhew. Hey, this is a big pitch right here. Can't allow them to attack on any more runs. Let's see if he attacks his own or buries something in the dirt. Fastball didn't miss by much, and it's a full count now. Three and two. Well, this has been a long inning already, and I know he doesn't want it to get any longer. I expect a challenge pitch right here. Buxton will get there, and he puts it away to retire the side. Tommy Kingley will come on in relief now as he'll make his 10th appearance of the season. Number 48. Ready to begin the eighth. Stepping in, Mitch Garver. He's working on a one for two game so far. Outside, two and one. In front of the changeup, and he can't keep it fair. Two strikes on him now. Lifted in the air toward the line and right. But this will wind up being a foul ball. The 2 2 one more time. Fouled off. Yeah, you could tell he was ready for another fastball, but the pitcher went to breaking ball, and the hitter just fouls that one off. Full count now, three and two. You can certainly tell at bats like this one, frustrate the heck out of a pitcher. But you got to find a way to stay composed and execute your plan. Line toward right center. But this will not elude the right fielder's grasp as he ranges over to handle it for the first out. Digging in, Eddie Rosario. He's hitless in his two at bats so far. Here's the one and two delivery. And he fouls this one off. One out, nobody on. And there's a fastball well off the plate inside. Got to find a way to scratch at least one across. You do not want to take on the monster closing the game down three. Here's a bouncing ball headed to LeMahieu at second. And there are two away now. Digging in once again, Max Kepler. He's 0 for 2 thus far in this one. Two out, nobody on. Slider is in there, and now it's one and two. Hey, you want someone sometimes to rattle the bat rack, but also the guy on the mound's got to eat, too. They're executing their pitches out there. It's going to be tough to score some runs. He'll try again, one, two. Well, all of the umpires in the seats thought that was strike three, and they weren't far off, but I think that was a good call. Looked to be just a bit outside. Hit sharply on the ground. And there's his first base hit in this one. The center field is 25. At the plate now, Byron Buxton. Buxton ahead in the count, three balls and a strike. Three balls and two strikes to the twin center fielder. 3 2, two out, runner on first. Lots of possible outcomes on this pitch. Enduhar fields it cleanly. Throw on to Voigt takes care of him, and the inning is over. Your attention, please. New pitcher now, set to take over three. now. It's the right-hander Sergio three. Romo that gets the call. Sergio. Bottom of the inning now, so now it'll be the four-hole hitter, Aaron Judge. He could really use a knock here, 0 for 3 in the game so far. And 
And this ball runs away for ball two. Two and one. Too much dip on the sinker. Laid off for a ball. There's a drive high in the air and deep to left center field. But he's going to haul this one in on the run as he winds up just shy of the now wall that, for the first down. The designated hitter. At the plate, Torres. He's working on a one for three thus far. One and two now as that one's fouled off. Bases are empty, one man out. High in the air out to center field. Buxton is there, two gone. Jim Carlo Stanton now. The 1 1 home. Lifted into center field. Long run for the center fielder. He's there to make the play, and that'll retire the side. Aroldis Chapman comes on from the pen, hoping to finish this one off here in the top of the ninth. And now back to the leadoff spot in the Twins lineup, stepping in Luis Arias. He'll be the one to greet Chapman, who looks to put an end to this one. A not an easy thing to do to try to come back and tie a game or take the lead off of a guy like this, one of the game's elite closers. Now the 2 1 pitch. Two balls and two strikes now. The 2 2. He pulls this one into right. But this is right at him in right field as he hardly has to move to take it in for the first down. Now with the plate, Jorge Polanco hit the ball pretty well in his last at-bat, but it resulted in a line-out. Yeah, Matty, it's always a little frustrating when you square one up. You hit a solid line drive like you did, and all you have to show for it is a jog back to the dugout. That can get in your head for a little while. Here's the 2-1 home. To two and two now. Still hanging with him. Another good swing to keep it going. And that misses, so it's a full count three and two. Following next is Nelson Cruz. He waits on deck. Lofted in the air out toward right center. Judges under it. Two gone. So coming to the plate, Nelson Cruz. And he needs to make something happen. They're down to their final out here in the ninth. And this is low, ball two. Two and one. And this is swung on and missed. So with that, they find themselves down to their final strike here this afternoon. Final strike for the Twins. Good job to spoil that one away, and he stays alive. Crowd of over 39,000 on their feet. Now a swing, and he pops him up. And this should do it. LeMahieu waits on it. Makes the catch, and that's the ball game. Man, facing Chapman is not for the faint of heart as he unleashes fireball after fireball. Gets the final out here and another save. What a weapon Chapman is. 3-0 the final score in this one today. The Yanks jumped ahead in the seventh inning and never gave the lead back. Luis Severino earns his eighth victory of the season as he finishes seven innings with only two hits allowed. Homer Bailey takes the loss, only his first of the year. Aroldis Chapman earns the save out of the bullpen, his 16th of the season. So that just about does it for Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, Heidi Watney, and our entire crew. I'm Matt Vasquez, and you've been watching MLB The Show. For more, make your way over to theshownation.com. Our final line score this afternoon.
first for the victorious Yankees. Three runs on seven hits. No errors. They left six men on base. For the Twins, no runs. Three hits. No errors. They left three men on base. Time of the ball game. Two hours and 34 minutes. Thank you for joining us here this afternoon. And we remind you to please drive home safely.